Loser Acosta eggs on WH reporters to scream at Sarah, she immediately makes him regret it. CNN's Jim Acosta played the role of schoolyard bully egging on the other White House correspondents to attack press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders during a regular press briefing. Everything was fine until two other male reporters started shouting at Sanders and Acosta backed them up. Well, Sarah took control and immediately made Acosta and his cohorts regret it. Sarah Sanders as press secretary probably has one of the toughest jobs in the Trump administration. Daily, she is on live TV as an entire room of combative so-called journalists, who hate her and the president, attempt to make her look like a fool. They hate her because they never win, and the only topic on their mind is the bogus Russian collusion case. Remember, they still haven't figured it out that it was Hillary Clinton who was colluding with the Russians, not President Trump. During the press briefing in question, one hostile reporter asked about how President Trump can differentiate between what he calls fake news and Russian disinformation campaigns. The purpose of this question was to trap Sanders into admitting that Russians and their mysterious Russian bots spread so much disinformation during the 2016 campaign that Hillary Clinton lost, then they can all scream that Trump was a part of that disinformation campaign, of course. Well, sorry for the idiot reporter who asked this question, but Sanders was well prepared to throw it right back on the press corps. Sarah ignored the ridiculous question, answering, look, we've seen it fake news time and time again a number of outlets have had to retract and change their stories, and their editors notes. This is a big problem and we think you should take that seriously. What Sanders did was place the blame of disinformation on the real sources, those journalists, and their cohorts sitting right in that press room. The press secretary is doing what she does best, truth-telling. She's not buying into the leftist democratic narrative that Russian bots controlled by Trump caused Hillary Clinton to lose the election. But, the losers in the press corps were not finished, they were just getting started. CNN's Jim Acosta had to pipe in as Sarah was talking because he can't stand that she refuses to go along with their lies about this Russia conspiracy. Come on Sarah, when journalists make honest mistakes, started Acosta, who was immediately interrupted by Sanders, cutting him off so fast it made his head spin. Well when journalists make honest mistakes they should own up to them, said the press secretary, when a male voice yelled out, we do. Sarah didn't miss a beat refusing to even make eye contact with the rude reporter to the left of her who had yelled that out, she said, sometimes, yeah you do, and sometimes you don't. Then, Acosta and his cohort started yelling all at once, to which Sarah put up her hand and with force said, I'm not finished. She went on to explain what most Americans, who are not brainwashed by the mainstream news, know already as she made it clear that there is a concerted effort by the mainstream media to publish pure propaganda. You cannot say it is an honest mistake when you are purposely putting out information that you know is false, or when you're taking information that hasn't been validated, that hasn't been offered any credibility. It has been continually denied by a number of people, including people with direct knowledge of an incident, said Sanders as reported by Real Clear Politics. Acosta asked her to cite a specific story that she says is intentionally false, intentionally put out there to mislead the American people. So, Sanders cited ABC's Brian Ross having to correct a story and being suspended. I think that shows that the network took it seriously and recognized that it was a problem, Sanders added. Dotsian and corrected a major error when they had to correct a date in an erroneous report claiming that Donald Trump Jr. had advanced knowledge of WikiLeaks documents leading the president's son to tweet back in December, I know you can't help but spread fake news, CNN. Sarah Huckabee Sanders was never going to be the permanent replacement for Sean Spicier. In fact, she was told to just fill in the best she could until the Trump administration could find a seasoned spokesman who could take on the vicious journalists who sit in the press room daily. Except, a funny thing happened, namely, Sarah Sanders, who was the national political director for her father Governor Mike Huckabee's 2008 presidential campaign, stood at that podium and nailed it, day after day. Now, she is a formidable opponent to every seasoned White House correspondent. We love Sarah Sanders, 
for the exact reason those fake news reporters hate her. She stands up to the leftist bullies, tells the truth, and refuses to ever back down.